there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing for the Xbox One. And if you're asking me why am I doing this unboxing, I ran a poll on Twitter and looks like most of you wanted that I do the unboxing. And before uh, any of you says that I should have got a PS4, I already have a PS4 for a long time. So let's do the unboxing the gaming console from Microsoft and as you can see this is just the Xbox console this is not the Kinect version we also have one more version that comes with the Kinect sensor but that's priced almost 10,000 rupees extra in India I actually did not want to go with that bundle and I purchased this Xbox one in a deal from Amazon India and I got it for uh, 30,000 and as you can see in India if you buy from Amazon India you get the official warranty. And this is a bundle, hence I actually get uh, this Assassin's Creed game uh, free with this console. So let me just open it up now. So this is how the box will look if you buy the regular console only version. And I opened up the box and looks like this is the accessories box. We'll have a look at that first. This is the Xbox One quick startup guide and these are the actually game uh, actually we don't get the games this is a digital download so we have the code so you have to download the games and uh, this is a uh, accessories uh, that you can buy for the Xbox One and this is the power uh, uh, cable for the adapter sadly it's a 16 amp uh, one uh, and uh, these are the HDMI cables that you use to connect your Xbox to your TV or a AVR receiver. We also get uh, one Xbox One controller and uh, uh, it's a little bit heavier compared to the PS4 and we also get the batteries, it requires batteries to operate. We also get a headset that you actually attach to the controller for voice chat so that is also included and this is the massive power adapter that you need to plug into your console which is sort of massive. So these were the accessories. Let me also take out the main Xbox One console from the box. So this is the console that we get and these are the ports. Actually, uh, we have HDMI out, we have uh, SPDF, uh, that is for audio. We also have two USB ports over here. This is for the Kinect, optional Kinect connector. And we also have an Ethernet jack. It also has built-in Wi-Fi, so you can use that also. So uh, the console is actually really heavy, as you can see, this is from the front and it has that glossy plastic so uh, sort of a fingerprint magnet and this is the blu-ray drive uh, where your games will go we can also actually digitally download the games so let me now just connect this up and we'll continue so I connected the console to the television and uh, when I logged on the first thing was there was a two gigabyte uh, online update that I had to do so this is the update and it's the regular setup where you basically set up your time zone, the power options, etc. on the Xbox One. To actually play the games online, you also need an Xbox Live account and you have to sign in with your Microsoft account. And Xbox Live uh, Gold is not free. If you want to play online, you have to pay a separate fee for that, which is actually the same even for the PS4 if you want to play online games. And once you are signed in, you get to the screen and it's the uh, actually tile interface that we have seen with Windows phone and even Windows computer. So you get everything via tiles and you also have the online app store where you can purchase uh, games digitally if you want. For example, I did purchase this Halo 5 Guardians online. And if you're planning to buy the games online, make sure you have a very fast broadband connection with ample bandwidth because many of the games range between 45 to 60 gigabytes in size. So as you can see, this is the tile interface that we get with the Xbox One. Now, as I have both the consoles, that's the Xbox One and the PS4. If you guys would like, I do a comparison after using this Xbox One for a while. Do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to do that. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.